Hey there, Corporate Misfits. Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, course creators, and consultants to build a freedom-bound business, sharing their expertise through e-learning, and also creating automation through funnels and things that help you to get your hands off the keyboard so that you can do what you enjoy. Now, before we dive into today's topic, I have an amazing free workshop for you. It's called How to Create Absolutely Beautiful Graphic Designs for Your Online Course Without Having to hire a expensive graphic designer or spend countless hours doing it. So I want to walk you through exactly how you can create designs in minutes, whether it's worksheets, webinar slides, or things along those lines that you might need for your online course or coaching business. I want you to be able to quickly be able to make those so that you're not spending all day doing it. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you could be notified of our upcoming videos. So today we're talking about how you can create mock-ups for your online course utilizing Canva. Now I have been guilty of trying to utilize some really complicated platforms to be able to create mock-ups. And I found myself spending so much time trying to get the mock-up just right. And eventually I took a step back and I took that perfectionist side of myself out of the way. And I said, I'm gonna find a way to utilize Canva since I'm utilizing it for so many other things to create mock-ups. Well, I did just that and also Canva has some amazing templates that you can get started with as well. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes with how you can create mock-ups in your business. This is usually where you see multiple screens and kind of preview what the course or program or coaching looks like. And this gives your audience a visual appeal of what they can expect when they go into the actual program. So let's go ahead and go behind the scenes on how you can do this in your business and create some amazing graphics for your mock-ups. Okay, let's make your launch assets so that you can be set up for success. Okay, so the first thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to come into Canva and we'll want to go to where it says, what are you looking for today? What can I help you find? So we're going to start here and we're going to type in launch. And what we're going to find is tons of templates that have to do with launching. So we have website launch, we have just kind of a mock-up launch, launch day, launch promotions, countdowns, things like that. Because ultimately, whenever you are launching, you wanna get people excited about what's to come. So there's just a few different options that Canva has, actually a lot of options that Canva has that you can come and check out. Now I'm gonna grab some of these different versions so that we can make some changes to them and get them prepared for your actual launch. But one thing I also wanna point out is from our Course Creator Pro membership, we do have some launch templates and it makes it easy again to go ahead and just plug in what you need because this is geared more towards coaches who are in the online space or course creators or people who have memberships or digital products. So I'm going to go to our launch kit and basically we have just different launch, different styles of launches for Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, all that good stuff that you can utilize on those channels to talk about your upcoming launch, whether it's a launch of a program, launch of a website, or just some sort of launch of any product that you may have. So I am going to edit our actual launch post here and I'm gonna get started with the Instagram post. I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit use template. And once I do that, here are some of the options that we have for helping you to launch. Some things that you might say, some things that could be helpful, all that good stuff, testimonials, all of that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to quickly make changes to uh, one of our templates, and then we're gonna go to Canva's free templates and make some changes there too. So let's say that this tan is not your, it's kind of creamish tan color, it's not your color. Maybe you want to do more of a, let's say a light pink or a darker coral, that's more of your color. So you can change that accordingly. And if you wanted to change all of the different pages to have that same exact color, you can do that as well by hitting change all. Now, what I'm going to do instead is, where am I right here? Day one. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to leave just this one image with the color I want. And now I'm going to change the back, the actual font. I'm going to change that to another color. So I am going to change that to this darker coral. I am going to change this to this coral. And again, I know what's happening is I'm changing it to the same color, but it looks a little different. One thing I want to point out 
is you can do something called transparency. And as you can see, the transparency is a little bit lighter on some of your days. So once you get lower and lower down this page, the transparency gets lower. So let's look at the transparency here. It's on 25 rather than on the 70 that was up here in the full transparency that's up here. So there you have it. I changed the color of the text and the background. Now let's change the font because maybe this font is not your brand. So let's change it to something else. Um, I'm just going up here and going to font. I'm gonna change it to, let's go with this one. Okay, so I just changed the font and now I'm gonna do it for all of them. There might be adjusting that we'll need to do, but at least you can change it to your preferred font. Okay, so now we have that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm either going to space this out and how I do the spacing is go to this particular three lines with the arrows going up and down. I'm gonna click on spacing and now I can play around with letter spacing. So if I wanted to make these a little bit longer like it was before, um, I'm gonna put it at 360. And then now I can go and update all of these spacing areas to make them all the same so it can be similar throughout the whole entire page. So that's what I would do with all these other day left. Okay, so now let's change your image because you have an image that's in here. So let's say you wanna change your image to be something else. Let's go with this lady for right now. We're gonna change it. Maybe we want to just get the person's kind of face in there. So boom. Okay, so there's something else happening behind the scenes. And as you can see, it's kind of like some floral that's taking place. And you might be asking yourself, how do I get to this? Where is this located? Now, what's really happening behind the scenes is there is an image back there. So if you notice that you positioned it back and you're like, I still can't get to what I need, it's because there's an image back there. So instead of having that image, I'm going to just drop in another image and it changes the overall look instead of having the floral that's back there. So now that I have that taken care of, because you always wanna just check, make, make sure that your image is either in the back or it might be behind some of your elements, if that is the case, I am now going to position this forward and there we go. So I'm gonna change this spacing. We're gonna make this 360 to match the other. Spacing 360. And now you can see, you can quickly make these changes to match your brand without having to spend hours doing this. So this is just one template. And again, this would go a lot faster if I went ahead and clicked on change all the colors, change every font to be the same exact font. Um, this will speed up the process on all of these templates if I were to go that route. But since I only did one at a time, it's only going to update this one particular image. So there you have it. I updated this and now it has more of my brand. I can add my, my URL to the bottom of this if I wanted to and all of that. Now let's look at what Canva has, because again, Canva has a ton of options. So let's just go ahead and click on this one. What we could do here is if you wanted to have a preview of maybe your product, or maybe you wanted to have a preview of your website, as you can see, they have an image here. We can change out the image. You can do a screenshot of your program. So go to wherever your portal is and do a screenshot of that and then upload it to Canva by going to the uploads area and uploading that JPEG or PNG. For right now, I'm just going to change the photo to something else. So all I did was grab a recent photo and I dragged and dropped it into the screen. So I didn't do anything special. I just dragged and dropped it into the screen. Now that that's updated, now the next thing that might want to take place is changing the background. Again, my background might not be this tan, so I might change it to be more of a pink, which falls into my brand colors. And also this text might not be the signatures that I want to have. I might wanna have, wanna have a different type of cursive or whatnot. You can pick what works best for you. So I'm gonna change it to that for right now. If I needed to change the sizing, I would just go to where the sizing is, decrease font size or increase font size. I'm going to decrease it just a little. I'm gonna to go to 70, okay? 
And now I'm going to change the color where it says launch today official website. I'm going to change official website and going to make that this color since that's more in alignment with my brand. I'm also going to change this call to action. So all it is is a square element. You can go to elements right here and then you can find like lines and shapes. But since there's already one in place, so say if you wanted to change it, not have like a sharp, um, you wanted more curvature in your, your actual um, call to action, you can change that to that too. But for right now, I'm just gonna use the template and I'm going to change this color and we're gonna make it our yellow since that is our signature uh, call to action color. And now I'm gonna change this link in bio. I'm going to change it to whatever this is. Oh, it's the same, so we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna change that to black. And now we have that. And now I can plug in my website name and encourage people to go and check that out on Instagram or if I wanted to utilize this on Facebook. So as you can see, it's really quick and easy to create your launch graphics. I want you to think about what platforms you're going to be promoting your actual launch on. Is it going to be Facebook? Is it going to be Instagram, Pinterest? What is it going to be? Okay, so once you have your launch graphics, what you're gonna do is go to where it says share. You're going to download your items either by PNG or JPEG. And if you are utilizing Canva for a social media scheduler, you can then share on social and you just need to make sure that you connect whatever social media that you're looking to share on. You'll need to connect on both of those platforms. Now, once you have that, you can also utilize some of this within your emails. So not only are you going to create launch stuff for your actual uh, social media, but you'll also want to create things that you can share via email. You might wanna be sharing stuff you know, with people through lives, all of that, maybe a PowerPoint presentation. So go ahead and think about all of the ways that you would like to share your launch material with your audience. And so you can make sure you're creating all the graphics and assets that go along with it. Okay, Corporate Misfits, that is it for this training in terms of creating your launch graphics. Don't forget to check out Course Creator Pro, where you can gather a ton of launch assets that are specifically designed and created for course creators. So you're not having to look through thousands and thousands of templates through Canva. You can go ahead and find a curated version where we have designed it specifically for coaches and consultants and people who have online digital products. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Also, make sure you leave a comment letting me know how you utilize Canva in your business. And also don't forget to check out our free workshop, how to create beautiful graphic designs for your online course business without having to spend a fortune or countless hours trying to come up with your design. You can find that below. Okay, I'll see you next time.